I'm trying to remember if I'm supposed to be starting a new vlog right now or if this is part two of a vlog. I don't know. I'm behind on the editing, so I don't know where I left off. But today is Monday, October 21st, and it's 2.37 in the afternoon. We just got home a little while ago. We were supposed to be home yesterday, but things went wrong. You want to be in the video too? Yes, he does. He says, people don't want to see your face, mommy. They want to see me. So my last vlog Saturday night. It was our last night there because we were going to be leaving Sunday morning. So yeah, we did some cleaning, hung out, had a good time. Then Sunday did more cleaning, just the last minute stuff, and then headed out. And we miscalculated when we had to leave the house because we had to stop by the dump, then get to the airport. And the airport is on the north side of Kona, like you have to go through the city to get to it. So we were late showing up for our flight. Well, we were two minutes late, but everyone still managed to get onto the flight, except me and Christian. And that was because we were two minutes late for the, the cutoff for bag check. And so some people who were gonna check bags just made things work. Like Ryan, his were technically two carry-ons, but he's gonna check one because he had some beer in there for Peter. But instead he just ditched the beer, which we then put into Christian's suitcase instead. Uh, and then Susie also had a bag, but she just, kind of stuffed as much stuff as she could into everyone else's bags and then left some stuff behind and I was like well I can fit this into me and Christian's bag so we we have the last of her stuff here but then she had to leave her empty suitcase behind which kind of sucks but yeah so they all managed to get onto the flight with no check bags but Christian and I had our check bags so we we did not make our flight the next flight wasn't going to be till around 9 30 at night so we had some time to kill so we just ubered back into the city and just kind of did some stuff we went back to the the boardwalk area and we we walked through that street because the street was closed down for a market so it was really cool the entire street was just lined with tents where people were selling stuff and we ate there and then we went to a movie theater because we just didn't know like what else we wanted to do and we were hot and sweaty we just wanted to get out of the sun and christian's like hey we should see a movie so yeah we saw joker it was really good and then we just went back to the airport and hung out there for a couple hours till our flight left christian had to miss work today though and we made it back just in time to vote because Canada's federal election day is today. And yeah, we made it back in time to vote. That was one of the first things we did. We got into the house, scooped the cat poop, and swept the cat litter off the floor because we had brought the cat litter up here. So it'd be easier for Jacob to scoop it while we were gone. And then I gave the cat some food, brushed my teeth because my teeth were disgusting because I haven't, hadn't brushed them since yesterday morning. And then we went and voted right away. So it's just felt like one gigantic long day because leaving at 9.30 at night, Hawaii time, that's like 12.30 a.m. Vancouver time. And so we landed in San Francisco at 5.30 a.m. approximately, five or 5.30, because there's that time change. So it's so weird, I don't know. The day has just been, it's been a weird day. Our friends successfully made it home last night. We made it back today. All is good. Reunited with the babies. Peoples. Oh, Kiki, are you sad that I'm filming your sister instead? <laughs> this just got delivered today. It's some cat litter. This is Susie's stuff that we had in our bags. And then, oh God, this is my swimsuit that has all the sand in it. I think I mentioned it, but I didn't show it. There's just this huge clump of sand here. And this is after some of the sand has already come out, but it's like, feels like a bean bag thing. <laughs> I can try my best to stretch the fabric and get as much sand out as I can, but I might have to cut it open. This is not my primary swimsuit, it's kind of my secondary one, but yeah, I still want to continue using it. Even though this is the one that caused me to flash a bunch of people at the beach. <laughs> oh, my leg's killing me, Minush. Yes it is, my leg really hurts and it's all swollen. My ankles are so swollen. <laughs> Especially this one. I'm getting a crease there, look at that. Better not be a blood clot, dude. Which is hardly slept, because Saturday night, after we were drinking, we went to bed, I had the most horrible heartburn that kept me up most of the night, and my arms were so sore, just that deep down to the bone pain that I get if I have do like lots of physical activity or lifting and stuff. I think that was from carrying stuff to the beach that day, and also the truck ride back was super rough, and I was hanging onto these bars for dear life. It killed my arms. I was just in so much pain that I hardly slept and then the whole flight fiasco happened so I did get in a little bit of sleeping on the airplane but it was not good sleep 
I'm probably a little tired. Oh yes, and on the way back from voting, I stopped by the Disney store and picked up these. I didn't get the other set, but this is the set of masks. It's to go alongside the pins I got at the D23 Expo. That set is right here for now. <laughs> so this one comes with masks, and so I wanted the remainder of the masks. Woohoo! So it's the next day. <laughs> I ended up just sleeping all afternoon yesterday. Ow! Oh my god, what? <laughs> what, Kiki? You sound like you're being attacked. Anyway. <laughs> Jesus. I was up for a little while in the evening and like late night, but I just kept going back to sleep. But now I'm all caught up. Woohoo. I'm ready to go. Ma'am. There was an oil painting thing I was gonna go to yesterday, but we didn't make it back in time. It was like a an oil painting demonstration at Opus. I was looking forward to that, but because we got stuck in Hawaii a little bit longer, I missed out on that. Plan for today is just kind of eh, more tidying, fold laundry. I really wanna get my next art video edited. It's the art book flip through one. That one was supposed to go up while I was in Hawaii, but I didn't have time to edit it. I'm also way behind on editing the vlogs because I also didn't have much time to edit those either. <laughs> I got a couple up while I was gone, though. <laughs> Kiki is going wild out there. Me! I think she wants to play. <laughs> I also just have a bit more financial stuff I want to get in order today because I'm seeing an accountant tomorrow, a new one. And so I need to just, like, this is going to be kind of our initial setup appointment. going to be kind of like a consultation and he's going to look at my stuff and I'm like, oh god. I'm kind of like dreading it due to like the embarrassment. I don't know. But that's like why I'm going to him is because I'm like, I need, I want like professional accounting done. So I don't know. I don't know why. I'm just like, I'm kind of nervous and embarrassed. So I just want to make sure I have everything I need good to go, all documents I need, and information on like income and expenses and all that stuff. Man, the last time I bleached my hair, I did not do a good job. I've never done that poorly of a job. I think I maybe added too much Olaplex because the bleach just didn't bleach as well as it normally does. Like the roots didn't get as white as they usually do. They're kind of a brownish yellow still. So yeah, I don't know how much I'll vlog today because I just have a bunch of things to get done, a bunch of boring things, but I will at least show you some packages that ended up coming later in the day yesterday. Okay, so one of the packages I got in the mail yesterday was this one. These are the little envelopes that I'm going to be using instead of tissue paper in my store orders going forward. I had to open this right away because I had no idea what it was. I couldn't remember what I ordered. And then on the customs form, it said decorations. And I was like, what? What is this? So I opened it up. Oh yeah, these. So I think I ordered 2,000 bags. I still have tissue paper left over, but I'll just use it here or there when I need to use it. Things like the mystery box return packages and other stuff. I'll get through it eventually. But this is what I'm gonna be using in my store instead of the tissue paper. Cute, cute. And then there is this package right here, which I haven't opened yet. <laughs> so. These are diamond paintings from Diamond Art Club. Oh my God, how big are these ones? <laughs> okay, first of all, this is bad lighting, so I'm being backlit. Let's move. Ooh. So, oh my God. Okay, so there are two here. I thought I was only getting one, so yay. Thank you, Diamond Art Club. <laughs> so I picked out this one specifically because I thought it was cute. I didn't specify a size. 47 by 59. Oh my goodness. This is round gems. And then there's this one, which is square gems. I think this is by the same artist because when I was looking it up, I remember seeing this artwork. So yeah, these are, these are tests for me to see what their products look like because I'm going to be working with them like I'm going to be having my art available as diamond paintings on their website so they sent me some stuff as like a test to see if I like their products that kind of thing I don't know see here's the struggle though here's the struggle I don't want to completely finish these like I kind of want to just open them up and check them out because 
I want to be doing diamond paintings of my own art to promote mine that are on the website. But also, I've already started a diamond painting of my own art, but it's not from Diamond Art Club. So, <laughs> like, do I finish that one or do I ditch it and instead wait to order one of my own and then do a diamond painting video? Like, maybe I should finish that other one anyway. I just haven't made that much progress on the other one. Like, I've sunk several hours into it. Like, I think I've already put in over 20 hours. But I still only have a small section of it done. So I'm like, well, do I want to spend the countless amount of hours that's going to take me to finish it? Or do I move forward to a different one? The box has sparkliness to it. A little scalloped edge. Cute. This is massive. Oh my god. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that's way higher quality than the one I have already. <laughs> At least it feels nicer. Holy smokes. Good. There's some instructions on how to diamond paint. And then there's the little legend for this painting. Oh my god, it is. I, just, I noticed in the the instructions here that the little, what is it called again? The, the wax stuff that you dip your pen into, it's heart-shaped. This is exciting. I'm really impressed by everything so far, like all the packaging. There's some excess baggies for your gems. This is the big thing of gems right here two little things of wax that are cut like hearts. So cute. Here's the kiki. Here's the kiki. <laughs> Here's the tray for the gems and then the little pen thingy which has a grip on it. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Optional grip. All right. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I'll have to do at least like a teeny section of this but yeah I am impressed. Oh, what is this? Oh, is this one of those applicator tips that can pick up multiples at once? Yeah, you can pick up a little row of gems with this one. Okay, this is exciting. This is making me 10 times more excited about this. I haven't signed the contract yet, but I'm about to. So I was just waiting to see the stuff in person. Just like, like the attention to detail and everything, the scalloped edge, it has got the little dots along it too, the little perforations, it's just so cute. The white has a, a pearly sheen to it. I'm very impressed. So it's the next day. I have my appointment with the accountant and it went really well. Like I just really liked him and we just sat and chatted and I got so much good advice and oh, I'm just glad I finally did that. I was so nervous. I was like, oh my God, he's gonna think my like bookkeeping is amateur and like all this stuff like that. But no, no, it was really good. He just gave lots of good advice. I've been thinking about incorporating my business. And after looking at everything, he was like, yeah, you need to incorporate. And he was like crunching numbers and oh boy, have I ever been overpaying in taxes. <laughs> Let me tell you, oh my God. He's like, you could have paid this much less. And I was like, mm, I paid like twice as much in taxes as I should have. <laughs> The corporate tax rate is 11%, and everything that's been my business income so far has been taxed at just a personal income tax rate. So it's been taxed at 33%. So basically, if I'm incorporated, I can just pay myself a salary and I'll still pay like the normal tax rate on any money I give myself, but then anything that stays in the business gets taxed at the corporate tax rate. And we discuss a lot of other stuff like like the possibility of hiring an employee, like how that would look. And he just talked me through a lot of stuff and it made me feel so much better because they could handle a lot of the like paperwork stuff for me. And so I came home and officially filed to incorporate my business. Yeah. So I spent a lot of time on that. And now I'm heading out, I'm meeting up with friends. We're just gonna go out for drinks. Some of these friends I haven't seen since before Hawaii, like since the pirate party, I think. So, yeah, I'm gonna head out, but I just thought I would update the situation. I also just wanted to vlog because I just fixed up my hair and I just put in this headband and you know, I'm like, why not vlog while I'm not looking gross? But yeah, I gotta go. I still have so many steps to do with my business and stuff. Like, I'm so disorganized. I don't even have a separate business bank account. <laughs> I have multiple bank accounts 
One is a foreign bank account. I've got like stuff, stuff goes to PayPal. Like it's gonna be pretty, it's gonna be a lot of work getting everything switched over. I'm even gonna need like a business credit card. Oh dear, but it's gonna be so much better once it's all streamlined and done properly. <laughs> okay, I gotta go. Okay, it is now Monday morning and I am gonna be heading out to the bank to set up a new bank account, new credit card, stuff like that. Just, you know, adulty things. I also wanna pick up some Halloween candy, stop by my P.O. box, just like, I don't know, I just have some errands to run today. The weekend was good, Saturday I had two Halloween parties to go to and Sunday was a live stream day. Uh, that's pretty much it for updates. I feel this disconnect, I hate how behind my vlogs are right now, I need to like catch up. I think I have one more Hawaii one to edit at the time I'm filming this. And I'm like, okay, like just, just get through it. Like I'm done, I'm, I'm over the Hawaii vlogs. I'm sick of editing them. <laughs> it is fun to look back on that stuff, but I'm like, okay, that was the past, this is now. And you know, no one cares what I was doing a week ago. They wanna know what I've been doing this week. <laughs> At least that's how I feel about vlogs. Like if they're too far behind, you just kinda lose interest. Anyway. Alrighty, I'm back. Yes, Minush. You wanna vlog? So demanding. <laughs> the bank appointment took an hour. Uh, it all went well. I don't have the credit card yet, obviously. They have to approve the application and send me a credit card, but I asked them to rush the card because then I can start putting purchases on it. Just so, it, you know, I'm trying to do as clean of a cut as possible. Just like completely stop using old cards, old accounts, and just use these going forward. And I have stuff I need to buy for my next pin launch. So I'm like, okay, depending when it should get here, like I, I may have to buy some stuff. We'll see, we'll see. But they said if they rush it, then once it's approved, it'll take just two days for the card to get here. So that would be great. Then I went to Superstore and got some things. The fuzzies from this bag got all over the Pringles, which looks disgusting. But yeah, this is stuff for Halloween. I have enough stuff for 12 kids. Well, there'll be a few extra chocolate bar stuff, but yeah, everyone can get a little Pringles thing. The only flavors were original and sour cream and onions. So I got sour cream and onion. And then each kid will get a Kinder Surprise. So there's 12 of those. And then the chocolate bars came in 10 packs. So that's why I got two. That's why there is technically gonna be some little leftover stuff if somehow we get that many kids. Usually we don't. I think 10 is the most I've ever gotten. Last year was like four kids or something, so. They'll get one of these. <laughs> I pretty much bought stuff I like. I don't know if kids like these. That's just backup, I guess, if we get through all the coffee crisp, but I like those. I mean, I love both of these. So <laughs> whatever doesn't get given to trick-or-treaters goes in my belly. And I went to the post office and I have two more packages for the subscriber mystery box series. These are new ones for round two. I still have to do one more video for round one. It's not gonna be my next video, but the one after the next video is gonna be a Halloween themed one. So that needs to come first. <laughs> I also got an, an egg salad sandwich at Superstore. I saw it and I just could not resist. So this is my lunch, which I'm very excited to eat. It's very color coordinated because the cheese matches the egg, the cucumber matches the lettuce. It just looks delicious. So I'm gonna eat this right now. <laughs> It is now Wednesday, October 30th. I just had my live stream and I worked on a variety of things. I resized my prints for my online store to be five by seven, including adding a couple new designs. And then I redid the backing cards for all my enamel pins because I want them to be square going forward. <laughs> I'm just changing everything. <laughs> so I had to switch them all up and I also had to do the ginger bun background because I didn't have one for him. Well, it was candy cane stripes, but I didn't like it. I wanted something more detailed. So this is what it looks like now. Obviously the ginger bun will not be there. It'll be printed like this. And then with the pin on it, it'll look like that. I've spent way too much time on this. I don't know why. 
I don't know. I, I like it though. I really like it. So I think it was worth it. And then there's also the cutie pine, which looks like this. It's pretty much the same as before, except it has more space on the sides. And then instead of the string of lights being at the top, there's no longer room at the top. So there's two strings like this, which I actually like more. So that worked out really well. I just don't know what I want to do. I got to research some more card printing places because I found out Vistaprint will not do rounded corners on square business cards. They do them on the rectangular ones, but not the square. And during the stream, I quickly looked up a couple other Canadian websites and it just, it got so expensive. So if I want this square, I can't do rounded corners. And I don't want to hole punch them myself because that would take forever. I'll look into some other websites, but you know, I've already looked into alternatives in the past. I probably will just stick with Vistaprint, but I'm going to go with a thicker card backing and then a different finish on the card so that they'll be fancier. Because in the past, I was just like, okay, cut cost, cut cost. But now I'm like, you know, I want just really nice backing cards. So <laughs> we're up in the quality. So last night, I went crazy and wrote out a bunch of stuff. It's under here. Ideas for print stuff and prices and whatever. Because... <laughs> My prints, as they currently are, they're a little bit snug in the Canadian boxes. I specifically bought this size of print because it would fit in those boxes, but it's still just so tight. So I thought, you know, I should start using the bigger boxes when people order prints. But then I thought, well, if it's a bigger box, I don't need to stick to this print size because I bought that size for the other boxes. And this is not a standard print size. It's really nice. I like the width to height ratio on it but it's just a weird size to frame. So four by six is a standard frame size. So you can see it's a little longer, but a little narrower. That's the difference there. And then I also thought, well, what if I just do five by sevens? Cause that's a nice size, but five by seven doesn't fit in here. So I would need a larger box size for American and international orders that get, I don't want to use these ones for US and international because one, they are expensive <laughs> and two I'm just nervous that because like they're not very thick right these are super thin boxes they're designed to be sent as Canadian letter mail something like this is more durable I don't know if you can tell the difference there I don't even know if it's focusing on the boxes or if it's focusing on my Cricut right now but yeah I, I, I trust it for domestic mail but if it's going out of the country I want something a little more durable so I was looking at boxes and then I was looking up sleeves for these I was looking up chipboard all kinds of stuff even some other things. I was looking into washi tape. I was looking into like other ways to stuff the boxes because if I have prints this big, then my heart sleeves that I just bought are not going to fit. I mean, I could still use them for certain orders, like maybe stick some enamel pins in there, then fold it over, tuck it in the box because this is meant to replace tissue paper, right? But <laughs> I like this little crinkle paper stuff to stuff the box in. It's like, like confetti type stuff. It's little like accordion pieces of paper. I found that stuff on Uline and I'm like, that would look so cute. And then I wouldn't even need this. You know, put your prints in there, but they'll be in their sleeves. And then the enamel pins, which are in their sleeves and have some crinkly stuff on top and have the thank you card in there, freebies. Cause I still have more buttons to give as freebies. I'm also doing thick dino stickers as freebies. I probably should have waited till next round to do these cause I still have the buttons, but you know, I guess people will just get two freebies this time unless I forget to include them. <laughs> so yeah, I've been looking at everything. Plus, you know, if this goes in a sleeve, will the sleeve fit in the box nicely? Yeah. And I was also looking into flat cardboard mailers for when I run out of bubble mailers. Cause if someone just gets a print, they don't need the box. So yeah, I, I basically did a bunch of research. I know what I want. I feel like my brain is all over the place right now. Hey, this really matches the cricket. Look at this. It's a peachy pink. Wow. Hmm, if I ever did sticker sheets, I could use these to package the sticker sheets. And then once they're used up, switch to glassine. Just trying to think of ways to use these up. I could even save them for other future product types. Yeah, we'll see. These are the stickers I got done in today's live stream. There's quite a few there. Carol loves this new sticker paper. It's it's amazing. Oh, took me a couple tries to figure out the cut depth, but then it was smooth sailing. I have more printed off that I didn't have time to cut. And there'll be many more than this, but it's just something nice to work on during the stream. Because I think to myself, huh, this is a lot of time invested for something that's going to be free. But at the same time, I still need something to do during the live streams. So 
that's something I can do. <laughs> I had less than an hour left in the stream when I started on these and I had to get the file ready and everything. So I don't know, that was pretty good progress considering this was only at the tail end of the live stream too. Like if I did a full stream, I could get all of them done. So that's the update on what I've been doing. I'm gonna be spending the rest of today getting my Chucky video done because I want it up for tomorrow since tomorrow's Halloween. To me, that's already late for this video because it's kind of a Halloween related video. So it should have been up well before Halloween, but you know, it's fine. I'm gonna end the vlog here though. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. I also wanna show off this shirt because I bought it the other day in Kona. Very cute, very cute. And it was actually a romper, <laughs> so it connected underneath. I didn't realize that when I bought it. They didn't have change rooms or anything. So I cut it so it's no longer a romper. Because it was looks like it was giving me a wedgie, like a shirt stuck in my butt crack or something. So I don't know. And I didn't want to have to.